Hi friends and welcome. In this video we're going to look at how we can fork and clone a GitHub repository so that we can begin working with the source code from that repository locally on our machine. I'm in my browser here and I'm visiting github.com. I'm logged in as a demo user that has no GitHub repositories of its own and has never contributed to any of the projects on GitHub. I'm going to demonstrate how we can get started with an open source project. In this case, I'm going to show you how we can start working on already a project run and maintained by the Humanitarian Toolbox. The Humanitarian Toolbox is a fantastic organization that produces open source software for use by charities such as the American Red Cross. So I click into the search box and I type in the word already. That's A L L R E A D Y. And then I can press enter to start my search. So we found the first result there already, and you can see that the organization for that project is HTBox. So that's the one we want, so we can click on that. I'm now in the already project, and from here we could look at any issues and pull requests that are part of that project. What I want to do, however, is to create a fork of this project so that I can begin working on it. So to create a fork, I go up into the upper right hand corner and click on the fork button. And you can see now it's creating our fork, which will be ready in a few seconds. And what forking is going to do is it's going to create a copy of the repository for us. The reason we create a fork or copy is because over in the main repo, they don't want everyone being able to have commit rights to the main repository. That would lead to problems if people were pushing into master, for example, that could upset the project structure. They wouldn't have a chance to validate that code before it was committed. And if people are creating lots of branches, work in progress branches for what they're working on, that would also make the main repository quite messy. The concept of forking in GitHub allows us to create that copy of the source code into our own account where we have full permissions to be able to work against it. We can create branches, we can push those branches back up into our GitHub repository. And when we're ready, we can create a pull request to request that the main organization pulls that code into their repository. So now we have our fork, which is up on the GitHub server. We need to be able to work on that locally. And so we're going to clone that. To create a clone, we click on the clone or download button, and that will give us the URL of this repository that we can use to clone from. I can click the button on the right hand side here to copy that URL into my clipboard. Now that I have the URL, I'm going to open up a command window in order to run some Git commands to actually perform the clone operation. So I'm in the path where I want to clone the code into, and I'm going to type git clone and then paste in that URL that we copied a moment ago. And that's going to start the cloning process. Here you can see that it's copying down the source code and it's copying down the git history for us. Okay, that's completed. So now I have a copy of the code. And if we do a directory listing, we can see that we've got a new directory for already created. We'll just have a look at what's inside that folder. And you can see here we've got the source for our project. We'll remain in the already directory now. The next step that we need to complete is to set up a remote. Because we've cloned this from the GitHub site, I'm going to now type git remote v and that's going to list out the remotes that are currently set up for our project and you can see we have an origin remote set up at the moment that's a remote that's pointing to our fork of the already project so this means we can push and pull from that remote repository up on github as well as having our own remote set up to our own fork the other thing we want to do is set up a remote that points to the main github repo for the already project this is going to allow us to keep our code in sync with what's happening in that master repository. In order to create the remote, I'm going to need the URL of the humanitarian toolbox already repository. So back in the browser here, I'm in my fork at the moment, and I'm going to click this link that takes me back to the main HTBox organization repository for already. Now that I'm in there, I can click the clone or download button, and I can copy out the URL which points to that repository. Now I'm going to switch back to the command window, and inside the command window, I can add my new remote. We're now going to type git remote add. Next, we need to give this new remote a name. I'm going to call this upstream. And then we can paste in the URL to the already project. 
Now, if I press enter, that will start adding that remote. Just to prove that that works, we can do a git remote dash v command again. And this time that will list out the remotes, including that upstream that we've just added. In this video, we've looked at how we can fork a GitHub repository into our own account and then clone it down so that we're now in a position to begin working with that code. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again next time.